What's up ladies and gents, and today we're going to talk about MIP shimming, MIP shimming, which has been uh, brought back to Tarkov with a couple of new settings, including uh, buffer size and disk usage limit. So first of all, I think a lot of people are actually confused and they don't know what MIP shimming is and what it does. Most of you remember that in the previous wipes you were able to select low textures, enable MIP shimming, and your game would look extremely blurry and super, super esports competitive, you know? But that's actually not how MIP shimming is supposed to work. And I'll tell you a bit more about how um, the whole concept works. And we're gonna test different settings on a couple of maps and see how it actually increases your performance and uh, stops your uh, stops your GPU from being bottlenecked. All right, so just to give you a good example of what MIP MIP shimming looks like in practice, I'll show it right there. So we've got a Bitcoin texture, right? When you double click on Bitcoin, you can see the texture. If we don't have MIP shimming, it loads instantly. And we're back in our hideout with MIP shimming enabled. And when we double click on Bitcoin, you can clearly see that whenever it renders the texture for the first time, it's very, very blurry. And this is what MIP shimming does to the textures. Was there like an audio here? Anyway, this is what it does to the textures which are not in our vision, as far as I understood. It loads them like this with a delay. Ooh. Damn, look at the box texture. Jesus, bro. That's MIP shimming with low textures. Look at this, look at this chat. And then it loads in. Now it unloads. Loads in. Unloads. Loads in. Alright, first of all, what is MIP map shimming? There is a very small document on Unity website, I'll link it down below if you want to read it yourself. There isn't really uh, much, much to read. Uh, anyway, so MIP map shimming uh, gives you control over which MIP map levels uh, Unity loads into the memory. And that is done by trading a small amount of CPU resources, because CPU is needed for different calculations, uh, to save potentially a large amount of GPU memory. That's what MIP shimming does. Um, and for example, in one of Unity's uh, demo projects, uh, it saves around 25-30% to 30 of texture memory, and that is actually correct, even in Tarkov. So, what is a MIP map level? MIP map level is a single downsized version of the original texture at some resolution. So, for example, if we take um, the same texture, let's say we take Monolism, it's gonna be uh, rendered at different resolution, at uh, different instances and potentially different distances, and uh, the lower the, res the resolution is, the lower the usage of your GPU. This is the way it saves um, GPU memory as well as your RAM. But in order to do all of these calculations, uh, some amount of your CPU is going to be used. And this is it for our introduction. Let's do some tests. All right, so which settings are we going to use for testing? First of all, we're testing our GPU. Therefore, we're going to select highest texture quality with um, highest texture quality we'll be able to see on our task manager if we're actually uh, getting uh, bottlenecked by any of the GPU usage and we're gonna change uh, MIP shimming uh, on and off I'm not sure if changing uh, buffer size will make a huge difference but we'll see to have more reliable results I'm gonna test it in offline because in online there is a different amount of scavs there is different amount of players as well as there is different amount of loot altogether and that might affect your GPU performance uh, and uh, frames as well. So offline results are not going to represent necessarily the results in online and you will have to adjust for that. But overall, results should be really precise. Just as we are loading the map files and the loot, I can already see that we are getting bottlenecked by uh, GPU memory because it's already at 7.8 gigs and uh, we are really close to our limits. 140, which is pretty decent, but as I already said, we're still getting bottlenecked by our VRAM and uh, Lighthouse is definitely the map for me on which I need to use MIP shimming all over my textures. Lowering textures should also reduce the, well, not should, it will reduce the memory usage. So if you want to keep playing on lower textures, just lower them. And if you want to keep playing on high textures, and you're getting bottleneck, make sure you try out MIP shimming and uh, see if it solves the problem. So, as I already said, we are at 7.8 and uh, 0 0.3, as well as we're using um, 14 gigs of memory. Let's uh, restart the game with MIP shimming and see how much of a difference it's gonna make. 
All right, we're back to our favorite place on Lighthouse. Our frames are more or less the same. I think they're a bit lower. I'm at 134, 135. This might be to do with the fact that I changed the daytime. Like I went from 8 p.m. to 8 a.m. And maybe because everything is brighter, the rendering is heavier. I don't know. Anyway, let's look at our numbers. So first of all, our dedicated GPU memory usage is at 5 gigs, which is much better. We're not getting uh, bottlenecked anymore. Uh, as it's not reaching 8 gigs and uh, secondly if we look at our processes we can see that we're using only 10 gigs of uh, memory usual ram which is much better than uh, 14 gigs in the previous case so yeah this is looking much better and i personally do need to use mip shimming on lighthouse if i want to play with high textures this will definitely benefit me i want to check another thing before we end the video i want to check out if we change our mip shimming to a much lower buffer size in this usage limit to see how this is going to affect our numbers. So let's do it right now. I'm also going to restart the game and uh, change all the settings. And we're back to our place. I don't really see any changes in numbers. Dedicated memory is still at 5 gigs more or less, 4.9, as well as uh, we're also using 10 gigs of memory. So I'm not sure if those sliders really do much. Um, and I don't have my game on HDD to test any difference. My game is on uh, SSD, so there is no point for me to use the second setting, which limits the disk usage. This one. Um, so yeah, I hope these tests were useful for you. And um, right now you know how to decide if you do need to use MIP streaming, depending on the textures. Most of the cases, if you're playing on medium or low textures, you will not need to use MIP streaming unless you have a GPU of a lower range, for example, something like 1550 Ti. And if you play on medium high settings with something like 1660 Ti, 2060, um, 3060, 2070, like in my case, for example, uh, you might need to use MIP streaming for better performance. So we've got plenty of settings for buffer size and disk usage limit. I'm not sure the way buffer size works. I'm not even sure what this number stands for. What, what, what is 64? Is it megabytes? Is it gigabytes? Is it something else? Is it RAM related? Um, yeah, this is a bit confusing to me. I wish BSG explained it a bit better. But for disk usage limit, I would say it's very simple. If you have your game on SSD, max it out, make it maximum. And if you have your game on HDD or a very slow old SSD, uh, make it as low as possible. And buffer size, no idea how it works, no idea what the limits are. Sorry about that. If anybody knows, let me know down in the comments below. And if I do get any updated info, I will um, edit the pin comment. So make sure you check the you check the pin comment in the comment section. So if you learned something new, give this video a thumbs up, share your thoughts down in the comments below, and I'll see you in the next one.